Hello, my name is Zarissa Klein, and I am a reference librarian for the Archives and Information Services Division at the Texas State Library and Archives Commission. I will give you an overview of who we are, the services we provide, and focus on resources in our collections for researching the history of Native American tribes in Texas. I'll highlight a few specific collections and show where you can locate images on our website or read articles about our collections, including pieces related to Native American heritage. We'll wrap up with a look at relevant resources available only at the Sam Houston Center in Liberty, Texas. A note about terminology, on our website and throughout this presentation, you may see the terms Native American, American Indian, Indian, and Indigenous people used interchangeably as terms change over time. For more information, visit the National Museum of the American Indian website. To introduce the Texas State Library and Archives Commission, or TSLAC for short, we are both a library and an archive in downtown Austin, Texas, next to the State Capitol Building. The Capitol Visitors Parking Garage provides public parking directly behind our building on San Jacinto. See our website, www.tsl.texas.gov forward slash visit for reading room hours. Here is an overview of TSLAC's mission and the service areas our agency provides to the state and to Texans. This presentation is part of our mission to provide Texans access to needed information and specifically information that helps you find records that we preserve. Our public service areas include in Austin, the library reading room, which provides reference access to publications and information resources, the Texas State Archival Research Room, which provides access to archival materials, historical maps, art, and other artifacts, and in Liberty, Texas, the Sam Houston Regional Library and Research Center and Museum. Today's topic is Native American Historical Research Resources in Texas. We'll review a subject guide, which is a type of finding aid created by archivists to help you find collections and items on a specific topic. Today's guide is for TSLAC's Native American Collections. You can find subject guides and collection finding aids on the Texas Archival Resources online, txarchives.org, or TARO website for repository collections across Texas. Please remember that resources use terms reflecting the time period when the records were created. When researching any topic at the Texas State Library and Archives, it is important to remember that the main collection area for the archive is government records of the state. We have holdings from the Secretary of State's office. We have papers from governors. There are collections from state agencies like parks, agriculture, transportation, even Texas Supreme Court cases. With any theme, the information and papers will mostly be from the point of view of the government and people working at government agencies. Examples of government records here would be papers from the Texas Indian Commission, the Texas Indian Papers and Treaties. Besides government records, we sometimes hold papers relevant to Texas history that are not from government entities, like the papers of James Ludwell Celestine, the son of former Chief Bronston Cooper Celestine of the Alabama Cushada. Celestine was not only of the Alabama Cushada community, but was also interested in documenting the history of his people. Continuing, there are Texas Tourism Development Agency images of the Alabama Cushada and Tiwa tribes, as well as a noted portion of materials at the Sam Houston Regional Library and Research Center. The subject guide is designed with descriptions of what is in the collections and includes a summary and link to each listed finding aid. Here is the URL or web address if you would like to follow along as we explore some more. 
Scrolling down the Native American subject guide, we see organized here a list of all the included holdings. Some may have many boxes of materials, but only a few items relevant to Native American heritage, like the Andrew Jackson Houston Papers, a large collection of papers from the Republic area with only a few related to Native American heritage in Texas. So you can look for a long time with not much to show if you randomly start in the Andrew Jackson Houston files, unless you take a closer look at the finding aid first. There are collections of records very specifically connected to this subject, like the Texas Indian Commission records. We are going to focus on the Texas Indian Commission records finding aid now, but you can check back with this online guide anytime to explore more. By pressing on Control F or Command F and typing the term Texas Indian Commission records in the search box that appears on the finding aid, then you click enter to go through each mention of the term, you can move quickly through the guide to the finding aid summary. What is this collection about? The Texas Indian Commission was originally named the Texas Commission for Indian Affairs. The commission was created in 1965 by the Texas legislature to take over state administration and supervision for the Alabama Cushata Indian Reservation. These records cover the entire existence of the Texas Commission for Indian Affairs and its successor, the Texas Indian Commission, or TIC reflecting the operations of the TIC as it worked with the Alabama Cushata tribe of Texas, the Tiwa, which are of the currently titled Isleta del Sur Pueblo tribe of Texas, and the Kickapoo, currently known as the Kickapoo traditional tribe of Texas. With intertribal organizations in the state and with the governor's interstate Indian council. There are all kinds of record types that you can request dating from between 1954 and 1989. How do we find out what materials are in this collection? We can look through the detailed lists archivists created to describe their collections. This is an example of how ours appear. In the collection summary, there will be the title and date range. Here we see these files cover the time period of 1954 through 1989. If you are hoping to locate materials from the 1800s or early 20th century, then you know to keep checking the finding aids. The records in this collection are organized under categories, which help you identify what you're interested in without pulling all the boxes. There are meeting files, status reports, files on legislation, files on Alabama, Cushata, Tiwa, and Kickapoo. There are papers in the Intertribal Housing Agency, burial files, and public information. If you want to focus on any of these categories, you can search the finding aid or scroll down to that section of the inventory list and find out what folders are in the boxes. I see the Tiwa are listed and I want to learn more. So I go to that section of the finding aid inventory. I've theoretically scrolled down to the section of the finding aid to find out more about the Tiwa and the Texas Indian Commission. And there's more detailed narrative here to read. This type of research can take time to read through a lot of textual information, but it saves time in the long run to not go through files that have nothing to do with what you're looking for. After the description section, there's an inventory list that names what is in each folder, where I see housing project maps in folder nine. I want to see these project maps. If I am not at TSLAC, I click on Texas State Library and Archives Commission under the Access Materials section on the upper left of the finding aid to download and fill out a material request form PDF and send it to the archives attached to an email request for an appointment to ref at tsl.texas, all spelled out, dot gov. If I'm at the TSLAC in the research room, then I will fill out a paper material request form from the library staff to request box 1990 forward slash 001-34 and go to folder nine.
Here are a couple of items from that folder. They are plans for a housing project for the Tiwa in El Paso. And that is the basic process for using our finding aids to identify the materials in our collections. There are many more collections on that list for you to explore. Another collection listed is the Texas Indian Papers. Going from 1825 to 1916, this publication contains over 1,000 transcriptions of documents from the Texas State Library and Archives. The volumes provide invaluable insight into Native American tribes as seen through the eyes of Texas government staff and agencies, and the original documents can be viewed in the archives. The image shown here is of document number eight, the treaty between Texas and the Cherokee. And this is what the original treaty looks like. So you can see it is much easier to read transcribed print versions. In February 1836, Sam Houston negotiated a treaty with the Cherokee and other East Texas bands. This treaty reserved the land between the Angelina, Neches, and Sabine rivers in the old San Antonio Road for Native American use. However, the Convention of 1836 failed to ratify the treaty. Not surprisingly, the Native Americans viewed the failure of the treaty as a betrayal and the threat of war hung between Native Americans and Texans hung over Texas through most of 1836. Another example of an archival collection relevant to Native American history research are the files and writings of James Silicine. These records consist of such documents as correspondence, mostly between Silicine and various state and federal officials and agencies, bylaws and charter of the Alabama Cushata tribes, minutes of council meetings, maps and sketches of the reservation, transcripts of deeds, church records and census rolls, and audio recordings. Here are a few examples of items from Celestine's collection. There's a pamphlet from about 1960 telling the story of the Indian village in Polk County. We see the first page of Celestine's manuscript, complete with edits, as he sets out to tell the origins of his people and the constitution and bylaws of the tribes. This is just a snapshot of the kinds of materials in this collection. We have additional materials in other collections related to the Alabama Cushata, both in Austin and at our site in Liberty. In 1963, the state allocated funds for a museum, restaurant, and arts and crafts shop on the Alabama Cushata Reservation near Livingston, Texas. The Alabama Cushata created a tourist destination, which was titled the Indian Village at the time. Our collection includes images such as these postcards promoting these attractions from the late 1960s. Pictured here is Jack Batiste a drummer and singer, along with a group of dancers standing in the tribal dance square near the museum and a living Indian village. Dances were performed daily. Here are some images that are slightly more recent, sometime in the 1970s. The Texas Tourist Development Agency sent photographers around Texas in the 1970s and 80s, capturing tourist attractions and using the photos for promotion. Images from this effort are online in TSLAC's Texas Digital Archive. Some of these are also on our Flickr page. They are the same images, but in two different places. Here are tours and photos from El Paso, this time showing the activities of the Tiwa and their dances, craft work, cooking, and more. Doesn't this last image look similar to the earlier housing drawings we saw from the Texas Indian Commission papers? It looks like those plans may have actually been built. If you're interested in exploring these images further, here are the collection names and web addresses. Lastly, I want to mention TSLAC Sam Houston Regional Library and Research Center in Liberty where there are not only research collections, but also a museum space to tour and view artifacts like basketry and beadwork from the Alabama Cushata.
Here are a few images from the Sam Houston Center of the baskets and other craft work that you may find in the museum. If you want to travel out to Liberty to see these types of artifacts in person, here is the address and contact information. Our Austin headquarters contact information is here as well. Reach out to our local reference staff at either location if you want to learn more about our collections or want to visit for research purposes. Follow at TSLAC on social media and visit our website to check out our blog, Out of the Stacks, with articles about our collections and services here at TSLAC. If you have more questions about current tribes or nations, please reach out to the tribe or nation directly. Thank you for joining me to learn about these resources. It has been a pleasure.